Welcome to another video. Uh, I'm going to do a bookshelf tour that's a little bit more in depth. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do show you every single book, but I will most definitely be showing you the shelves. So, Lego. Here we have the first shelf, which is contemporary. Um, it's double stacked. These are the books I haven't read. So, that's the first shelf. I mean, there's some... I need to find somewhere to put a microphone. Let's put it back on my jumper. There we go. Back here is, like, all of the contemporaries that I have read. I have shelf number two. And I thought I would put my Mickey, Rainbow Mickey and Minnie with Heartstopper. Because I just thought that was cute. I've read all of these. Like, I put them... So I did all the ones I've read in alphabetical order and then just put all of the books I haven't read in alphabetical order on one shelf. I didn't want to spread them out that much. I did a little bit on other shelves, but not on the this one. I need to put that somewhere. And then we have shelf number three. So, hold on. So it turns out I have a lot more... Is my microphone still on? Yeah. I have a lot more contemporary than I thought I did. Why is my camera still wonky? She's wonky. Um, yeah, I have a lot more contemporary than I thought I did, which kind of surprised me, but kind of didn't. Like, I used to only read contemporary, and then I think... No, I know. The first, like, non-contemporary book I read was Divergent, specifically this copy. <laughs> this copy. <laughs> the movie had, like, just come out... I Hello? Where's my dog? I don't... Like, it's... This must... When did the movie come out? In 2014? 2013. That's when I bought this. And then... Um, yeah, I blame that book, to be honest. I blame that book. Actually, I might have read a copy from my school library. I can't get them back in. I'll do that later. Um, but that was, like... I, I I wish I'd kept track of when I was buying books as I bought them because I would most definitely put them in like bought order because that would be so interesting but I don't remember I don't remember all I know is these are the most recent books I bought and those two <laughs> so on to and let's we're gonna go in uh, genre now because contemporary was all all of a long one thing, but the others are not across. They're down and kind of across, but not really. So next is um, fantasy, I think. <laughs> it could be dystopian, actually. No, it's fantasy. Fantasy, fantasy. Now, let's just go. Let's go. That's the first fantasy shelf, which... Behind is more series, apparently. Oh, there's an old book there. Um, there's these, law. What else is back here? There is some books that... Oh, there's all of Lee Bardugo. There's some books I haven't... Or I haven't read that are back there. But they just, like, didn't fit out here. I didn't want to put many hardbacks out here because they do come quite far out. Like, this one is... I've just shoved that one. Oh god, I just bent that page. Don't kill me, please. <laughs> this one doesn't like to go in there, but as soon as I've read something else, it'll be fine. And then the next one is this shelf. Now, I did, if there was hardbacks at the back, I put the books, like, separated them. So, here's my big, look how big this was. This was, um, like, £45, I can't lie. But, haven't read it. Haven't even watched the movie. Don't even know if I like it. But I just want it. That's not going back in. <laughs> Being problematic. It's in now. So yeah, we've got some books back there. I think almost all of the books back here I have read. Because this is, apart from, I haven't read those two. And Game of Thrones is in there. I've, I've listened to some of the first book. And then it came off of, I think, Audible Plus, whatever it is it came off of. So, don't have that anymore. 
I'm going to read these this year, I've decided, because I bought them, I think I bought them last year, but I want to read them. And then the next is, these are great. These are like a middle grade. Is they're just like a middle grade. He's like a monster hunter, witch, warlock thing. And then I actually have read these. But I just haven't sorted it out yet. Got some best series. Oh no. There we go. Um, yeah, but we're in R now. Is that the alphabet? These I need to sort these out because these aren't in their categories at all. Look at that. But yes. Haven't read that book right there. Excuse me. Um so that is my um fantasy. Why is my thing always wonky? That's my fantasy section. I love it. I love it, I do. That's where have I put oh I got really confused then about where all my Sarah J Mass books were. I don't I I should have put these on this side so I like saw them more often. But I'm not doing that now. Absolutely. No fucking way. Next we next is what is next? Next I think is supernatural but also Dan Brown. I kind of it's not supernatural, but it's got all the things and blah blah blah, you know. So it's kind of a little, little bit, a little bit. But it probably doesn't count. <laughs> I classed Supernatural as could be in the real world, but has things of not real nature. So like Beautiful Creatures, Vampire Academy, the Maradaya series, because she's got a weird powery thing. Um, all of Twilight, like, vampires, werewolves, things, you know. But they're, like, teenagers in our time. Anyway. Let's go to the shelves. Come on, my knees now. It's getting low down. The first shelf we have... What is that called? Is, that the, is it just the Darkest Minds thing? And these are some of the books I haven't read. Dan Brown. My friends. My Marvel friends, they live here. I want to get some more and just have like a whole Marvel show. Because <laughs> that's supernatural. Come on. Yeah, that's that one. I stopped recording. Um, These I read when I was younger and there's so many more of them. But I can't, I can't buy any more. There's too many of them. I've probably, I think I've read to wonder. Yeah, I've read up to wonder. So I've read four of the like ten there is. Maradaya. Fallen this. Oh, this took over my life for a solid six months. I just read the books and watched the movie. Read the books, watched the movie. Do you know what I mean? It was great. I, I don't know if I even want this on my shelf, but it's here for now. Love of my life. Um, I need to put this somewhere. It doesn't have a... It needs to go in Supernatural. What's her last name? I could genuinely just put it down there. <laughs> uh, we're, we're not going to do that right now. I've forgotten the alphabet. Anyway. Twilight, which I've lost the jacket for this. I don't know where it's gone, but it's the life and death. It's the gender swap. The gender bent? Is that allowed? The gender swap of Twilight, which everybody had a problem with. <laughs> I actually don't have, oh God, I don't have them all. I don't think. Are they even in the right order? Oh, I don't know anymore. And then we have Percy Jackson, which I definitely don't have all of these. I'm going to get this. That's my, my task for this year. I'm at ask for my birthday. It's going to be getting all of these. <laughs> maybe just, maybe just, oh, and I keep falling. Put that there. Maybe just, um, like the original, like just the Percy Jackson one, because I don't have enough money to get all of that, do I? And then we do have one more shelf of it that doesn't belong there. We have one more shelf, which is all of Outlander, because, hold on, we will swap around the floor. <laughs> oh no, what's going on, it fell off. 
because if I'm being totally honest, I, d- I don't know where to put that. It's historic, so it's next to my historical stuff, but it's also next to supernatural. Because where do you put that? It's got time travel. That's not real. That's fake. That's supernatural. But it's also set in the 40s, the 60s, and the 17th and early 18th century. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? No. 18th and 19th century. What? Where am I supposed to put that? I'll put it in the middle. With, by itself. As it should be. I also think I'm going to sw- swap them so the first one's at the top. But Not right now. I've done enough sorting on these shelves for a lifetime, I think. Next we will do... Let's do historical fiction next. Got interrupted, didn't I? So we've got half a... Sh- three quarters of a shelf and then a whole shelf of Supernatural. And it's... The, it was the hardest section to pick, like, categorise, because I've got, a, like, a couple that could be the Supernatural or murder mystery or, like, that's a mystery, but I didn't want to... Like, that's that's old. Do you know what I mean? It's not set in our time. And then, let's move to... Um, the next section is probably one I thought I had a lot... It, it's I, had, I thought I had a lot more dystopian books. We're going on to dystopian. Oh, I forgot some fantasy. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I thought I had a lot more... Um, dystopian. I don't know why. I just, I think I've probably read it, read a lot of it recently. Or it's just like, some of the, some of them I remember, I remember them more than others because they're usually quite like on their own. Whereas a lot of fantasies are quite similar. Dystopian books I find always have a different version of like a government, different problems going on, you know. So, Let's go. From, let's go in alphabetical order, maybe. We have Jimi Hendrix here. I don't know why. He just lives there. We have this series. I'm not sure. See, I always take off the covers, and this one got a bit squashed. Um, I'm not sure if that's all of them. I feel like I'm missing a couple. I think I am, but that's okay. We can get them. Next, on to the selection. Hunger Games. Illuminae. Lumine, uh, Shatter Me, Renegades, which, mm, love it. And then over to Cinder, which this is the only one of the Lunar Chronicles I've got and read. I want to get the rest of them, to be honest. And The Hundred, which is amazing. Haven't read this. Diversion. I'm going to, my other plan, as well as getting all of Percy Jackson, is to get all of Diversion in these covers. They're the, I think, the 10th anniversary edition. Why am I trying to take this this book out again? But they're just... They're very pretty. And... Look at them there. Isn't they cute? Isn't they sweet? Isn't they cute? Ferris wheel as well. Like, it's all just very... It's very cute. It looks like a... Like a classic book in the... There's like a specific thing of school books but whatever (laughs) and then I have the two hardbacks and then this is what is this trilogy called psych I don't know I I'm got to like seven page 70 in this and then never finished it but I'm planning to then the fifth wave I haven't read that and then back to historical fiction let's go to I don't know where this is the um last bit of fantasy which I forgot I put here which is my gorgeous lovely love them the most covers that sounded like the master of the house um my lovely little lord of the rings covers which was happened to win i didn't realize until the other day that these matched up i don't know i just i guess i just didn't notice it and that i need to put the other one with that because it's somewhere and then we have move hagrid we have caraval and then which i I've only read Caravelle and Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I have another copy of. <laughs> Probably don't talk about that. <laughs> and actually, along the same lines as fantasy, let's move 
to my pride and joy, shall we, Lewis? Are you doing? These two shelves, which we're doing this one first. Um, I just love them. I need more because there's probably space. I mean, Catwoman's in there, but there's probably space for like another Crescent City book just to slot in there. That would be great. My book sleeve. <laughs> But I want to get I want to get the new covers. No, actually, I don't. I love these covers. I don't want the new covers. These are the best covers. <laughs> but then I have all of Throne of Glass as well. And then I have Lewis Hamilton. He just kind of chills. Yep, that's what he does. <laughs> On along along the same lines as um, Supernatural. This is me and Joe as Dax. We have. Small instruments, infernal devices, dark artifices, which I haven't read, don't come for me. Um, the Eldest Curses, haven't, I haven't read them. Uh, the, I have read these three, these six, and the Codex. I've read some of the tales, but not all of them. And then my favourite cover, like these are my favourite covers I've ever got. Because they're not, they're a hardback, but they're not a... You know, and they're both um, collector's first editions, which I need to get Chain of Art. Um, what's the other one? Oh, I don't know what the next one is. Something, but this. Just, let me just move that. Like, just look, isn't they so cute? Love them. Not least, we have, let me, get me hook. Murder mystery slash mystery on these two shelves the first shelf is just alphabetical we've got christmas mini mickey and some pokemon because why not um yeah we've got whatever that series is good girl Gu good girl's guide to murder which i've got the other two and i've got the third one of that some stephen king up there that series yeah that is all of my shelves i think i hope that's all my shelves um I don't think I said how I organised them, so I did them in genre and then alphabetically, which I don't know if I love, so there may be a rearranging, definitely not this year, I'm not, I don't want to do it again, I don't want to do it again, there's so many books, I think I, in total I counted like 630, something like that, I, how? When? When did that happen? At an average of like eight pound a book. That's a lot. I'm not doing the maths. I don't do I don't math. But that's a lot of money. <laughs> and that's probably from let's go that's from like twenty thirteen. Because Divergent really screwed me over. But yeah, that is my shelves. Let me know how you organise yours because I love to know. And believe me when I say it took me forever to decide what I was going to do. Because I just couldn't like find all of the inspo was rainbow. And I didn't want to do rainbow because that's that would separate series. And mm -mm. no, I can't do with separating like even separating authors. I don't like doing. Like I don't I, I don't I wouldn't I could never separate any of Throne of Glass or any of Cassandra, like, I could just, I just couldn't do that. And, like, they're all white, so they would all have to go together. And then Akatar would be at the other end because they're all black. I just, I can't be doing rainbow. And I've done, I, my old shelves were just alphabetically by author, not by genre, then author, which was good, but also, like, the covers didn't quite match up because contemporary and fantasy covers are always different. That I'm rambling now, but I hope you enjoyed. I will be coming at you with um another video very soon. Bye bye.